delicious, healthy, mild, and so easy to prepare. This isn't just any catfish. It's Carolina Classics Natural Catfish, the only natural farmed catfish available. The coastal plains of eastern North Carolina, where the ponds are tempered by the Gulf Stream and nourished by neighboring green fields with clean air, is the ideal setting to raise these natural swimmers. Contrary to popular belief, catfish are actually top feeders, dining on a natural, nutritionally balanced diet rich in wholesome grains. My family has ties to their environment that goes back generations. So we use simple and natural methods of farming to minimize the impact on local land and water. Natural means no hormones, pesticides, or antibiotics are ever used. Carolina Classics processes and packages its natural catfish within an hour from when the fish were swimming and ship it off as fresh as can be to your local retailer. We maintain complete control of everything that goes into the beautiful pink-white fillets you'll find in the seafood case. We formulate the feed in our own mill, we own our fish and our farms, and we minimally process the fish in our own plant. You won't find a fresher tasting fish unless you catch it yourself. And speaking of taste, I'm pleased to introduce Chef Deb Schneider of J6 Restaurant in San Diego. If you're looking for a delicious, versatile fish that's healthy for you and the environment, here it is, Carolina Classics Natural Catfish. In a minute, I'm going to show you how you can make delicious catfish for your family, but first, let's take a look at the fish. Fresh fish should always be firm and have a clean smell. No fishy odor. Carolina Classics Natural Catfish are always shipped fresh, so they taste delicious. Catfish is incredibly versatile. You can grill it, bake it, saute it, poach it, steam it. You get the idea. For these recipes and more, visit our website at cccatfish.com. Grilled catfish is so naturally healthy that I really like to use it on light, healthy recipes like this grilled marinated catfish filet on mixed greens. There's a couple of things you need to remember about grilling fish in a grill pan. First, make sure that your pan is very hot. Secondly, lightly oil the pan using a spray bottle. Third, when you lay the fish in, lay it rounded side down. Cook about five minutes per side and turn only once. Here I'm using a grill pan but you can also use an outdoor grill or an electric countertop grill with fantastic results. Lay the fish on the salad. Drizzle over the reserved marinade. Sprinkle with a little bit of fresh chopped herbs and you have a beautiful grilled catfish on mixed greens. Once you have your grilling technique down, you can really start to experiment with your own favorite flavors and seasonings. I'm going to whip up a quick citrus marinade here with a little bit of fresh citrus, lemon juice, soy sauce, there we go. garlic, just a small amount of oil so the fish doesn't stick to the grill, a little black pepper, and some fresh chopped herbs. Then 30 minutes on the fish is long enough for the flavor to go into the fish, and then we'll grill it. Okay, it's been 30 minutes, so let's get our fish in the pan. First, I'm going to lightly spray my hot grill pan. Lift the fish out of the marinade. Gently lay it in. Remember, we're going to turn the fish only once. To test the fish for doneness, Pull it apart with two forks. You'll be able to see inside that it's opaque but still juicy, so we know that it's ready to plate. Just lift it up onto our plate. A little garnish and grilled citrus catfish. Another great grilling recipe with real south of the border flair, these wonderful grilled fish tacos. I've made a little spice paste here with chili powder, lime juice, and a little bit of oil. I'm going to brush it on one side of the filet fairly generously. And then I'm going to put it in the pan. 
I'm going to lay it in the pan spice side down, and then I'm going to brush it with a little bit more of the spice paste on the upside. When the fish is cooked, take two forks and break it into large chunks before you start building your taco. Now this is a good time to look in there and see that beautiful white flesh. You can see it's opaque so the fish is cooked through. Next we'll take our tortilla, which is warm and we're keeping it warm. Fill the tortilla with some of this beautiful grilled catfish. Little citrus slaw. It has little orange segments in it. Looks wonderful. And a little topping of mayonnaise sauce. I like to garnish it with a sprig of cilantro. And there you have it, catfish taco. And now it's time to do a chili grilled catfish wrap. Take a beautiful green tortilla. We're going to put in some of our citrus slaw. Add some of this beautiful catfish can be fairly generous. I also like to put a little cilantro inside the wrap too. So to do your wrap, take one turn like this, hold it kind of tight, tuck your ends in, and continue to roll and tuck the tortilla until you have a nice neat cylinder. Press it a little bit with your hands, cut it in half. I like to do it on a sharp angle because I think it looks beautiful when you open it up like this and you put it on the plate. And I like to plate them like this, so you can really see the beautiful colors inside. You won't believe how beautiful and easy this next recipe is. I've got some prepared stir-fry vegetables here. I'm going to put them into a casserole on the stovetop over high heat with a little bit of garlic and some chopped ginger. As soon as that starts to get hot, I'm going to pour in a little bit of vegetable broth all the way around. As you can see, this recipe has absolutely no added fat, and it's as tasty as it is beautiful. Now I'm going to lay the catfish fillet on top, put the lid on, and let it steam on the stove top for about 10 minutes until everything's cooked. Off comes the lid. We're going to pour over a little bit of any kind of Asian teriyaki sauce, stir-fry sauce, whatever you like. Drizzle it around on the vegetables. Garnish with a piece of fresh herb. And there you have it, a beautiful meal in one pot in minutes. As a chef and a mother, I care as much about the environment as I do about serving healthy food to my children. We're going to make crispy baked catfish bites. Carolina Classics Natural Catfish is also a great environmental choice. They never use any pesticides or anything synthetic when they raise the fish. And farm-raised catfish itself is one of the most sustainable of all fish species. Environmental groups like Monterey Bay Aquarium and Environmental Defense give catfish their highest rating. And that matters to me. Now I'm going to take my bite-sized pieces of catfish, put them in a little bit of lemon marinade, toss them around, just to lightly coat, gives them a little flavor. And then I'm going to put the bite-sized pieces into some seasoned golden brown breadcrumbs. Toss them very well, so you're thoroughly coated. And on to a lightly oiled sheet pan. Now when we're done doing this, I'm gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of paprika and a little spritz of oil. Now don't forget, there's lots more recipes where these came from. I haven't had time to show you very much today, but please visit our website at cccatfish.com. Okay, here we go, a little bit of paprika. Just for color, just for fun. And then I'm gonna give them a very light spritzing of oil from my spray bottle. They'll cook for about 30 minutes. Okay, let's check them. Oh, they look great. Golden brown, crispy baked catfish bites. Look wonderful. Now I'm going to set up a little children's plate here with some apples, cherry tomatoes, carrots, celery, all the good stuff, and a little bit of tartar sauce for dipping. Over here I've got a plate for grown-ups because adults really love crispy baked catfish bites too. 
And there you are, crispy baked catfish bites. So there you have it, delicious, healthy, mild, and so easy. Carolina Classics Natural Catfish.